Welcome to another Simbit technical video. Today we're looking at harvesting energy off a high rotation disc or motor. In this case we're using the Genova Technologies Energy Harvester tied to the Eval 09. As I zoom in here you'll see that on the right we have a rotating disc on a shaft and there is the Genova Energy Harvesting Transducer that is then tied into the Eval 09. We're using the electromagnetic port so it's an AC input into the card. We have about 1.4 milliwatts coming off of the transducer into the EVAL09 being delivered to a uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio. In this case, it's the Aneron module reporting over to the TI access point. You can see here on the screen the red ball is the access point, and we actually have two sensors. We have a solar sensor running on this system in yellow, but you can see the light blue bubble is the energy harvester using the electromagnetic transducer. And if I can zoom in here and maybe have it focus, you can see that there's actually 1.4 milliwatts of power coming in, reporting every 10 seconds. So you can see how here, how you can use on a high-speed rotating shaft, you can harvest the energy. What would be great for this might be the application of a self-powered tachometer or driving other kinds of sensors just using the rotation of the magnets on the disk going past the Genova Technologies transducer. Look for more on Simbit.com. Thanks. So now we've taken the setup and actually reduced the speed significantly. The transducer is still tied to the EVAL09 as we see, but now the input voltage after rectification is about 470 millivolts. The system is in maximum peak power tracking, and the radio shown to the left is being powered. Let's see what it looks like over on the screen here. You can see the sensors are both up, and over on the left now we can see that we have 185 microwatts coming in in the system versus before at much higher speed we had 1.4 milliwatts. So you can see that the system works remarkably well even at 10x less the input power. And that just goes to show then for systems where you need a wide range of inputs you use something like the maximum peak power tracking capabilities that are in the Simbit Energy Processor, the CBC915. For more information on that, you can go over to the Simbit.com website, look at the eval 9 and the datasheet for the CBC 915.